Yo, what is up guys? What up, what up, what up, what up? Those guys A here. I'm back again with another video guys. So in today's video, we will be focusing on um, mixing and mastering. So maybe this um, might take us two or three videos, you know, because I don't want to make them too long. But then, yeah, let's get into this guys. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the content, hit that thumb up, man. Okay, so let's just jump into this. What we have here is a clean sound, you know, like clean template. Nothing has been done. I just routed everything to the mixer. I've added nothing in the mixer, as you can see. There's nothing. There's only this, which I was using for demonstration, I think, of, yeah, of the white noise. Let me those are the white noise white noises so let's <coughs> let's not waste time guys let me just sit properly okay let's not waste time guys let's get into this our main priority um something that you want to do first in this video is to get headroom for mixing you know we're gonna start with the headroom first so um basically what i mean is that we're gonna be working with this volume um levels over here we're not gonna be touching anything as of yet now so let me resize this a bit okay put it like yeah so what you wanna do here guys we're gonna be we'll be going through our sounds one by one so we want our sounds to hit around negative 12 db negative 12 decibels what i like to do okay what i did to this kick this is a a normal btbd kick it's a default kick so i just gave it a little bit of a boost then let's let's add let's add an eq to this okay for the kick i'm i'm processing it already then let's add punchy drums our kick is solid now we have a solid kick so what you want to do next you're gonna open that kick this volume guys this one over here the same as this volume you know, the same volume so let's make this volume hit at around 12 decibels actually all our sounds i will be quiet and i'll just be um leveling up everything so that it can give us headroom so let's go guys
continue with everything it's just like normalizing the sounds because they have a lower volume you know so it's just We want everything to hit around 12 or maybe below 12 a little bit slightly so let's continue with this with this check okay everything's fine i think this sound is good it's way way below so let's continue good let's go to another one with a piano also the moonlight piano from um what is it um harmless yeah harmless go to our next sound which is the FL keys okay this sound, sound is good let's go to our bass sub bass hitting right where we want it you know like there's nothing to do to this one just gonna leave it like that then let's go to our next sound it's from Hama it's a bass called blue sunday focus on this guys you have to focus on that it's cool let's go to our next sound it's the lock draw lock draw it's quite low quite nice let's just decrease it a bit this one is good and we have the GMS A 
I've seen so many tutorials of I've seen so many tutorials of mixing and mastering. I'm not saying I'm the best at this, you know, but I've never come across any um mixing or mastering video where they do something like this. I learned this from a book. You know, I am the type of person who's obsessed with reading. You know, so I was reading this other book about mixing and mastering and I came across something like this. Seems that there is an automation clip playing here. Let me ra just reset this. Uh, let's put it at about eight two. Copy this and paste this value over there. So eighty two. So here, our next sound is a mosquito. Song is coming, man. Mosquitoes. Okay, cool. I think we have it right. I'm not sure if I'm using this sound in a way, but let's just go through it. Maybe I'm gonna use it later on. It's cool because loud on itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the next sound. It's a shaker. Next sound. Shaker also. Okay, I put in a little bit of effects there just to make a running shaker, you know. I just put on the <coughs> delay from this just increase the feedback and the time into about three three minutes so that it can become a shake no i didn't want to use a loop shaker so let's continue let's get into this sound hitting very hard Okay, good. Let's go to another sound. The percussion. Nice. So let's jump into this other one. I think it's our last sound there. Then we'll be going to the audio. So let's get into this. so now let's delete this thing actually we're not gonna use it anymore so let's go into our audios Next 
go on. Crash, crash. Okay, just gonna leave it there. over here right about there so let's okay this is the white noise we are not using it for this we are not using that okay we are done here guys we are done here so all our sounds here they are hitting at 12 decibels so we're just gonna play also you know focusing on um fixing everything you know so <laughs> so you guys can hear now that everything is leveled up nicely so let's let's get into Part of mixing you know so then maybe this video should take about 25 minutes or so what do you want to do guys um with every sound you know we're just gonna add an eq so what an eq what you're gonna do with an eq is that you will you will be um cutting out will be cutting out um, frequencies you don't need you know, so I'm gonna go through cutting off this um, frequencies very quickly because I think I already know where my sounds are playing so let me just do something like this go to the song mode and play to an add on your kick no, I mean on your clips it's the reverb so you just lower down the volume of the reverb save then let's put it over here oh before I forget something let's increase the volume here the master volume I'm gonna increase it don't know how but it works it works miracle Miracles. So yeah, let's now. sound too loud. This one. Now. Let's just do that. Now. See, even if I've increased the volume. But look, <coughs> our kick playing over there. It's always hitting on the 12, um, negative 12 decibels. You know? So let me just quickly do this, guys. Just gonna be quick with this. taking off some frequencies out of this I hope you guys so far are enjoying the tutorial you know and are learning something I'm telling you if you're gonna do this thing correct then you're gonna have yourself very clean mix 
So we'll be getting into the volumes very quick um, as soon as I'm done here. There's the roads. guys um, I just wanted to finish up very quickly with leading out the muddy sounds that we have so let's let's play everything again so but in this case now we're going to play it in um, individual sounds okay it is quite nah. you want those sounds that taking the volume all the way up so let me rather do something like this yeah let's rather do something like this then let me look for a section where most of my sounds are playing i think i'm gonna take this last one over here the last four bars over here that's where almost everything in my songs play so we can just bring them back on let's 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 check 
6db I'm just gonna pull that down Kick a bit down also. Let's pull that down. I'm just using the wheel on the mouse, guys, so that I can get everything blending together. Of course, there is, there's a lot that I can do to this mix. I can add a lot of effects like delays like um, no. distortions no. you know no. but then I'm not gonna no. go into too much no. into those details no. because I want <coughs> this tutorial no. to be short no. but then I'm gonna no. keep on making um, no. tutorials on no. I'm gonna keep on making tutorials on mixing and mastering which by the way I will be focusing on things that I'm skipping now like maybe I'm gonna revisit this project again and show you guys what I edit maybe I'm gonna like release the track then come back to it to review the final mixing stage that I did
So yeah, everything is nicely mixed there. Nicely mixed. Nicely leveled. So we have headroom now. What I, what I mean about the headroom is that from six decibels to zero decibels. If remember if our track is heating above zero decibels, it's slipping. So we have to um have a headroom so that when we do the mastering whereby we will be increasing the volume of the whole track balancing the final mix making it tight so let's just say we have a nice mix over here i'll just bring in this fxs over here remember this project is just for demonstration but i might even finish it like revamp it make it sound even doper but now so yeah let's just listen i want to edit this fxs Everything now sounds smooth. yeah guys that's basically how i do mixing so um in the next video it's gonna be the short video i will continue where i left off with this one it's gonna be the mastering phase of this whole project it's your boy here it's lost guys a yeah guys hope you all enjoyed peace i'm out guys thank you thank you